Methanogenesis was the earliest metabolic process that developed in oxygen-depleted, aka anaerobic environments such as the primitive Earth. Although it was the most primitive metabolic process, it yields very little energy when compared to other energy pathways. Methanogenesis often occurred in rocks, in areas of harsh conditions such as hydrothermal vents due to their toleration of salt, acid, and temperature. Methanogenesis occurs in archaea, which differ from bacteria, and results in the production of methane and carbon dioxide. Typically, there are three pathways by which methanogenesis occurs. The first and most common pathway is through acetate fermentation. Acetate can be formed by abiotic synthesis, which was common during the time of primitive earth. The second pathway is through a specific type of redox reaction called dismutation, in which a compound is oxidized and reduced at the same time. The dismutation of ethanol results in methane production. The third and final pathway is a reduction of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide methanogens are commonly reduced by hydrogen gas to produce methane and water in the subsurfaces of the earth. Carbon monoxide can also reduce CO2. Without substrates such as carbon dioxide, hydrogen, or acetate, methanogenesis cannot occur. In addition to the primitive pathways, today methanogenesis occurs in marshes and swamps, ocean sediments, and the guts of cows and other ruminants. The methane production from these environments can contribute to climate change due to the fact that CH4 is approximately 25 times more potent of a greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide over a 100-year period. Increases in anthropogenic activities have caused simultaneous increases in methane production in areas related to those practices. Methanogenesis is the final step in anaerobic decomposition, which typically occurs in wetlands. This helps prevent accumulation of carbon in anaerobic environments. The draining of wetlands destroys the carbon sink, which can contribute to global climate change. In turn, increasing global temperatures can cause melting of permafrost, which may release more methane produced from methanogenic archaea. Despite their negative implications of methane production, methanogenic archaea are, help break down trash in landfills. They are also responsible for the production of biogenic methane that we now use as natural gas. Methanogenesis also produces methane clathrates in the deep ocean and may be responsible and potentially be harvested for energy. From the time that methanogenesis first developed in, on the primitive earth, it has been a vital part of the earth and its ecosystem. Created using Powtoon.